Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI, and this is a 17-year-old female with complaints of knee pain for just a few days. She had an injury, had x-rays that showed no fracture, but they did show a finding here along the medial femoral condyle. So this is, this is the lateral femoral condyle, the outside of the femur. This is the big femur coming down, the lateral articular surface looks nice, homogeneous, sharply defined margins, but the medial side has an area that is too dense and irregular along the articular surface. So this is an osteochondral defect, the defect of the bone and articular cartilage. It's not terribly uncommon. We see this in kids. It usually involves the medial femoral condyle along the outer side mm -hmm. and it goes into the intercondylar notch. So this is just a really classic appearance of what we call osteochondritis disecans. And this osteochondral defect can happen in kids. It usually will heal spontaneously. They just tell the children to uh, decrease activity. Sometimes they'll put them on crutches. And uh, over time, a couple, uh, sometimes up to four months, it can go on to just heal completely. So it's nice to uh, note it and then uh, give the appropriate treatment and sometimes follow it up to make sure it is healed. On occasion, if they still um, do exercise or have repetitive injury, the osteochondral defect can lose its blood supply and break off. It can become unstable where it's just not connected or it's lost its blood supply or it can even become loose and displaced and float around and through the joint. So this is the role for MRI. We see this on plain film. We see it's an osteochondral defect for sure, osteochondritis desiccans. Now we need to do an MRI to see is that bone fragment loose or unstable? Is there a lot of myoedema? So in this view we see the medial femoral condyle. We see this osteochondral defect, again osteochondritis desiccans. It involves the lateral side of the medial condyle, goes into the notch, so just a perfectly classic example. If we put up another view here, we're going to see, and on this view, we see there's some patchy marrow edema underneath it, very typical. But the articular surface is pretty smooth. There's no piece missing or floating out. There's no fluid uh, dissecting between the um, osteochondral defect and the bone. And so this is not loose. There's no fluid in between them and there is no displacement. So we say this is an osteochondral defect with a little bit of myoedema compatible with osteochondral desiccans. There's no evidence of loosening or displacement of this osteochondral uh, defect. And then they're gonna follow it up and just make sure this goes on to heal spontaneously. Again, if it doesn't heal or it starts to loosen, become displaced, they can drill it and that can revascularize it. Or sometimes they'll put a screw across it and attack it back in place. And really bad examples where there's a piece that is displaced and they have to remove it and there's a big bone gap here. They can do a surgery where they take a piece of bone from another part of the body and graft it onto here to fill in that bone gap. But this is just a case of mild osteochondritis desiccans with no loosening or displacement. And hopefully this child will go on to heal spontaneously.